Phoenix. This is Go Calgary on Shaw TV. everybody and welcome to soul work we appreciate everybody watching the show tonight and tuning in and tonight's show we have two very exciting guests involved indefinitely I'm Jenny Cousins your host and this is my co-host Kimberly Buckler hello and we all want to welcome you again and remind the callers uh, to be calling in and the next 10 minutes after the break or so and just so you can get your pens ready What's that phone number, Kim? 403-539-6710. Absolutely. Now, to introduce our show, we want to welcome Trish Sweet from Sweet Babies Pet Care. Hello. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we also want to welcome my pride and joy, my wolfhound McTavish, who's passed out at the moment, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't realize how big he is, but I'm sure he's going to get up in due time whenever I, I, I give him a little treat. We're not going to say that word too much. So mm -hmm. we're going to start off the show and um, we're going to introduce um, Trish a little bit more. And she's also going to stay for the full show. So we're going to, you know, take calls also when she is here. So, Kim. Oh, Trish, what? What brought you along the journey of working with animals? Well, as a child, I grew up with a dog, and he was a little bit older than I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just seemed to take to animals at a young age. And I grew up with many different anim animals. I had guinea pigs and hermit crabs and different mm. types of fish. And my parents also had a lot of goldfish in that. So I've had a lot of different types of pets and animals over over my life and now I have three beautiful cats wow. that I care for so I've always felt some kind of a uh, I guess energy towards animals okay. and they sort of pull me in and I feel like maybe I pull them in a little bit too <laughs> yeah yeah. Absolutely, because I know that um, with with your work, that you do a lot of work helping other people as well. Let's say that um, don't have um, a, a certain you know amount of cash, let's say, or right. they're stuck with you know providing services for their own animals. Because I know that you're you know you look after a lot of different animals. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about? some of the things that uh, yes, uh, I do. You, you've done from your heart and yes I do have a a client that has a, a cattery which is mm -hmm. uh, she raises Maine Coon cats and uh, she's got quite a few of them mm -hmm. and she is also you know uh, selling some of her older yeah. cats as well as her kittens and uh, she does need a bit of help mm -hmm. with grooming and vaccinating them and, mm -hmm. and just doing general care for them so I have, you know, donated yeah. some time to her just to help her out and, and you know, give her that little extra hand that she may need because it's not always easy, you know, mm -hmm. caring for the animals on your own. Yeah. And uh, not everybody knows exactly, you know, how to do certain things. And because I have quite a bit of animal experience, then mm -hmm. I can help her with many different things, even if it's for an hour or two at a time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I know that you've you've done um, a lot of care work all across the whole city. What areas do you go into in the city? Uh, generally, I'm in the northwest. Uh, I do pretty much work all over the city, but I am generally in the northwest. I'll pretty much travel where anybody yeah. is requiring uh, my services. Um, I do charge uh, extra kilometers if it's mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. of. 10 kilometers of where I am mm -hmm. uh, but definitely I do have uh, rates and price lists on my website as well mm -hmm. so you could kind of get an idea as how much it would cost to okay. have me come okay. in and do drop-in visits yeah. or walks mm -hmm. or potty breaks or whatever you might need for your pet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. what are all the services that you provide? Uh, mainly my services right now is, is drop-in visits for people, um, whether they're away for a couple of days or 
a week or maybe a couple of weeks. I just drop in as often as the pet and the owner require me to drop in. Sometimes it's once a day, sometimes mm -hmm. it's up to four times a day, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's just every few days to make mm -hmm. sure that they have the water and the food that they need and that they're they're cared for. Because mm -hmm. okay. I, um, I actually met Trish when um, I was uh, at WestJet for a little bit and um, I know that whenever I was talking to Kim earlier about it, whenever I said that once I contacted you, you either emailed me back or phoned me and you said that you, you have this spirituality about yourself or some or some way you re read something or worded something or mm -hmm. I can't remember and instantly we just connected yes right yes y y you know like on yeah. the spiritual level, level for sure yeah. right and I know that even when you go out and you know visit the animals and such like that mm -hmm. and take care of them you have this certain connection with animals because I know that whenever you came in you know and met McTavish and my other little dog who's mm -hmm. smaller than a cat by the way Nikita <laughs> you know yeah. right they just automatically took to you right away right, right. right away and I, I do feel that with a lot of especially my clients I've had over the last few years that you know you definitely build a bigger rapport with them yeah. and the energy just seems to get greater and greater yeah. between me and my cl my furry clients, as I call them, yeah. And so it just yeah. it just the bond gets stronger and stronger. And uh, I do have a client that um, I've never actually met mm -hmm. that is uh, unable to get back into Canada from the states. Oh no! And I've been looking after his cat for almost five months now. Oh no! So I feel for her very much. Yeah. <laughs> She's very much missing her owner. Oh, yes. And so um, sometimes that does play on my emotions yeah. as yeah. well yeah. because I know she misses her owner and she really yeah. kind of craves the attention that she gets from oh, me every day. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're very like a very giving person, mm -hmm. you know, with with the animals and such like that, right? right? Like, do you, would you go to Cochrane, for instance? Because, like, Kim lives out in Cochrane, mm -hmm. for instance, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you, you, I don't know if you have anybody out there who, who does that. No, no. It is hard to find a good mm -hmm. person that, you know, is familiar with animals and different types of yeah. animals. And uh, I, I do have uh, veterinary clinic experience. Yeah. Uh, over the last 10 years, okay. uh, doing mostly reception, but also assisting doctors and technicians. So it does uh, really help me with my job mm -hmm. as far as, uh, you know, if it's an animal that needs some medical attention, yeah. uh, senior pet, uh, or just an animal that is, you know, regular diabetic or that kind of thing. So it does help me a lot being in the vet clinic industry as well. Yeah. 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 Well, it was neat when you showed up tonight. Well, when Jenny came in with McTavish, McTavish didn't want to come in this room. Yeah. But when you showed up, McTavish acted like a little child. Yeah, he, he was seemed very giddy. puppy like tonight. Yeah. He wanted to bring you in here. Yeah, he was, he was very excited. You, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was and neat that to makes see. me feel that's good, trust. good, too. Yeah. yeah, so at least he trusts and feels comfortable. It's like and Auntie that, Trish is coming. That's right, yeah. and it makes me feel comfortable as well. Uh, and I... I, I think that that's, you know, kind of what keeps me on a, a level, yeah, an even yeah. keel. Grounded more. Because yes. I know that when we were speaking even earlier, um, that you, you said that even whenever you go over to people's houses and such, you know, you have a way with animals. It's, it's almost like, you know, you have that meditation time, that peace time too. Right. And you can, you know, communicate really well with the animals. Yes. The right? Like the, that you get from the animal whisper. Yes, thing. <laughs> I have been called the cat whisperer, yes. although oh, I, I don't imagine. know if I would say yeah. that I'm a cat whisperer, but I, I yeah. have been called that from, <laughs> from some of my clients. So Exactly. Yeah. So if, if anybody, for instance, wanted to get in touch with you mm -hmm. um, to have you come, and I recommend it, Calgary. I highly, <laughs> highly, highly recommend Trish. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for someone to come into your home and, and take care of your animals, have no worries, because this by far... You know, mm -hmm. Trish is, is the one who will definitely do that. And what's your website? What's the name of your website for anybody to reach you at? It's uh, Sweet Babies Pet Care, S W E E T T, Babies Pet Care.com. And uh, you can certainly email me if you have any questions or you'd like a quote for 
uh, whether it's uh, drop-in visits or if you're even looking for somebody who can do uh, pet shopping, pick up supplies or medication. If you're not able to drive, um, I can do that for you. And I also do pet taxi services as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, we want to thank you for coming on the show tonight, Trish. Thank you so much and, for having uh, me. It was, it was a real pleasure. No, no. And um, just to let everybody know, Trish is going to stay throughout the whole show again. And we want those viewers to pick up the phones and, and give us a call. And what's that number, Kim? It's 403. Five three nine six seven one zero, and we will be right back after these messages, Calgary. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We want to welcome everybody back to the show, and uh, again, we want to thank Trish for being on the show, and as you can see, mm -hmm. she is very much still with us, <laughs> and McTavish is just actually kind of lazy right now and relaxed, which is a good thing, believe me, <laughs> <laughs> and sometime during the show, I make him stand up because he's a wolfhound, and you don't realize how big he is until you actually meet him in person. Right, because his back comes up to my waist. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a big puppy. Oh, he's a big puppy already. Right? He's yeah. two hundred and five pounds. Yeah, you know, and he's he's a really good um, protector. And um, everybody, you know, I always recommend, like with with anybody when it comes to you know animals, that they're going to guide you regardless of what. I mean, if you're you know, if that animal starts showing signs of you know getting upset, mm -hmm. right? You, you know, you got to pay attention to that because their mm -hmm. intuition, you know, they could be the one who could be readers, your, your readers and your guides. Yeah. Because they'll let you know, right? Yeah. They're not just going to sit there and start barking, right? Like with him, if he barks or if he growls, you pay attention. Right. Yeah. Right? Like because there's somebody there or there's a situation of some sort right. where you do get the dogs, like my other little dog, she barks at anything. So it's like, you know, just get inside, everything's but, fine. Yeah. Yeah. But if McTavish goes for it, you know, you know something's wrong. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I learned that, you know, the hard way, really. But yeah. um, the first time he growled, when I was actually living in Ireland with him, he, uh, you know, it, it really scared me. And, you know, I didn't know what it was. Oh, you asked, you mentioned earlier about animal spirits. So when I was driving into the city today right. um, with some of the clients, I pick up on animal spirits. Okay. And on your left hand shoulder, you've got a hawk. But this hawk mm -hmm. is uh, got a leather tether okay. to him. So you get funny images. It's like a rescue hawk. Okay. So somehow you've helped out so much that that hawk is there with you, the energy. Also, beside your left foot, you have a gopher. Oh, and really? this little gopher, and I'm thinking, why a gopher? And I haven't, I don't know much about the gophers, but right. it was like safety. Because when you go out in the field and you watch the gophers, and they'll hide until mm. they feel comfortable. Right. So you're providing that safety factor for the animals that you're working with. Okay, interesting. So it was a beautiful image to have on wow. the way oh, in. Oh, wow. wow. That is yeah. very interesting. Because yeah. they, all, they all represent things. I mean, even right. for me, I love ravens. I just, I love ravens. I mean, it's you, you, I communicate with them. They always give me messages. I mean, right. for instance, if I see three ravens flying by, Right, then that's a sign that you're going to hear about somebody getting married or somebody got engaged. Right. Right, and I'll get ravens coming to me. And one day, whenever I was out walking the dogs, I shouldn't have been walking the dogs that day because I, my foot was bad, I was limping. But I took the dogs out, mm -hmm. and there's this little raven. And, you know, he was limping, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to tune into this right now. Right, and I thought, no, I'm just getting going with the dogs now. So I, I walk the dogs, and I'm coarse. I'm like, oh, I knew I shouldn't have done it but I did it anyways, I come back and here's this raven mm. and he's walking up my steps and he's limping and he's limping. And I was going to, I had plans to go to the gym after I brought the dogs out. Right. But then I thought, you know, and the message from the raven was don't go, let your, you know, let your foot heal. Right. Right. So once I'm sitting there and I was looking outside and I just kind of nodded at the raven, then he left. He flew. He oh, wasn't limping yeah. anymore. 
So I stayed at home and I ended up getting some work done that I needed to do. So mm -hmm. they'll tell you. I mean, they'll they'll tell you right. They're different huge signs, messages, yeah. different messages, right? right? All different animals will tell you messages, right? Right? If you you know mm -hmm. really tune into their energy and, and listen such. to them, yeah, for sure. Right. So right. we're waiting for those phone calls so we can share some messages with you. Absolutely. And what's that number, Kim? Calgary. Pick up that phone. Five three nine six seven one zero. Absolutely. We're still waiting for your calls now. <laughs> so so in the meantime. Um, another story, for instance, I've got many stories on, on McTavish, mind you. And when I was living in Ireland, it was a situation, a long story, but I, I couldn't walk. I was having problems. And I had a clear indication that day that it was time for me to get a wolfhound, right? right? So I went all the way across Ireland to get him. And when I picked him up, there's only two puppies left. Right, and a puppy being an Irish wolfhound, you know, they're like this big. They're they're massive. Right. Right. Yeah. So I drove um, all the way back. Actually, I was in the back seat, and I had him on my on my lap, and I had some really nice calming meditation music going on for him, and and the breeder was really concerned that you know he was going to get sick or that something was going to happen, you know, meaning because it's a long drive home, and I thought no, he's right. fine. You know, and, and he was fine, but the, the, the interesting thing about this was when I got out of the car, when I reached, you know, the home I was at, I could get out of the car and I could walk and I didn't feel pain on my feet. Oh, really? wild. From McTavish. Yeah. Right, because animals, you know, as, as you both know, of course, you know, their healing abilities is extraordinary. Yes. And that's the day when I started walking better wow. on my feet. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because I had a clear indication uh, not to move to Ireland, but because I didn't pay attention, my mm. feet went on me, oh, right? Dear. Long story, I'm not going to go into yeah. it, yeah. right? But yeah. they do that. And Again, McTavish listening with to me. your intuitions yeah. And, yeah. Yes. and working with the animals and having mm. him around. just. So what I'll do is, oh, mm. we've got a call from Marion. Oh, we have a caller. Hello, Marion. Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Good. And your question tonight? Oh, I just need to know, I guess, if my relationship right now is going anywhere. Um, do, you, do you want honesty? Yes. Um, to be very honest, Marion, if, if you really look back at the whole relationship situation, okay, mm -hmm. You already know what the answer is, okay, deep mm -hmm. down. I just really believe that all you're looking for is a confirmation with it. And mm -hmm. to be very honest with you, I'm not, I'm not feeling that this is the right relationship for you. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm really feeling that things are just kind of coming to an end, mm -hmm. right? Um, and one thing you have to remember is with any type of relationships that we're involved with, okay, mm -hmm. We're in a relationship, could be a short time, could be a long time, but there's reasonings behind it, mm -hmm. okay? So what's really important is for you to really take a look at your relationship and see what you learned from it. <laughs> right, I'm not uh, going yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. to go into a lot of details with it. No, for, no, of course. no, I mean it. Yeah, you it, already know, and that's why I said it's basically what you're looking for is just a confirmation, because you know where it's going. It's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's. It's Dang not it. going. Now, is it because of lack of effort on his part? Or? Um, I just feel that you guys, when you guys met, it was like the right time, e yeah. you know, for both of you guys. It's almost like you helped him move forward in a way, and um, he helped you move forward in a different way. But now it's, it's like, you know, you guys have learned from each other. And now it's time to kind of go your separate ways, mm -hmm. right? But it, you've got to do that when it's the best time for you both. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all today it's, it's about a confirmation, okay, mm -hmm. because I'm seeing uh, a lot of doors opening for you in a lot of different ways. God, I'd like to know when. I mean, the last yeah. 30 some odd years has just been a nightmare. Yeah, so now it's time to clear it because now we're in Mercury retrograde. Mm -hmm. Okay, eclipse, we're almost at the end, 8th and 9th of November, so now is the time to make that decision to clear it and move forward. But we don't want to cut you off short, but we do have another call calling in. Was that helpful to you at all? Yes, I appreciate it very much. You, you're welcome, and certainly feel free to give us a call next Wednesday night as well. Okay, you have a great evening. Then. You, you as well. So our, okay, next, call, our next caller is Rob. Rob? Hello, Rob? Hi. 
Yes, and you have a question for uh, for us. Yes, yes. Um, the last uh, year um, on my job has been a little rough, and uh, I'm contemplating whether to leave it or not. And just wondering, should I stick it out, or is this uh, as best as it's going to get? I, 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 Rob, to be very honest with you, I'm feeling that um, that is just it's your time to leave. Okay, you very well might be. Um, looking and if not out on another job within the next two months okay it, it's again it's like the confirmation that what you're looking for um, I really don't feel that for you to stay there you're going to be happy I just see big changes going on where you are right now mm -hmm. okay and I'm feeling that you're going to have something new come along and you're going to be a lot more happier but two months right you can change that at any time to be a lot sooner Okay, there's someone else actually I'm, I'm feeling um, that, that you're going to meet at this other job. It could be somebody that you know that's going to pull you in there, that's going to offer you the job. It's almost or like he's already been offered that job. Yeah. He's heard about it. It's well, almost you, like you've you already... Feel that. Yeah. And, and I'm, hearing, I'm hearing the name Andy for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Okay? But it, it is your time to, you know, to move on now, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And feel free to give us a call next next Wednesday night as well. And we have... Our next caller is Cam. Cam, welcome. Hello, Cam? Hello? Is Cam still there? I heard a click. Maybe not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. But feel free to call us, Calgary. What's the number, Kim? 539-6710. Area code 403. 403. We'll be sending McTavish to your doors. <laughs> so, so yes, um, I do feel even with, you know, people, they are looking for a lot of different confirmations. It's almost like, you know, we know what the answer is deep down right. already. Yeah. Right. Oh, we got Cam again. Oh, here's Cam again. Hello, Cam. Cam? Are you there, Cam? Hello? Hello. Yes. Hey, how are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Good. And you have a question for us? Yes, I have a question. I've um, I've been wanting a relationship with uh, with a partner, a female partner for a while, and uh, she hasn't come along. I thought she has before, but then you know it hasn't. It it wasn't it, and uh, you know I'm just I I want to. I want to find somebody who's honest, willing, and open, and I want to have an intimate relationship with a very understanding lady, and I'd be, I'd be happy, and hopefully that would, that's what she's looking for too. Yes, it, it, it's all about timing, right? Um, when we go searching for someone, right, um, we can send that energy out the wrong way, okay, um, with you because. You're, what you're looking for is purity from the heart and you're looking for something real, this is what you're gonna attract, right? It's it's just take things one day at a time and let it happen. And I do see that special someone coming along actually. And you very well could meet this woman within six months time. Okay, I don't wanna tell you you're gonna meet somebody tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> it would be nice. I don't wanna lie no. to you or anything, right? But I'm I'm not I'm not feeling it. I see somebody within six months, right? But I'm feeling that this person that you meet in six months time, it's just a stepping stone because the the other person I see coming into your life that's gonna be the real thing where you'll settle is a, is within two years. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's like just go with the flow, right? I mean, if, if we go out looking, 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 we can always meet somebody. But then it depends what you're looking for. But with you, I feel, yeah, you're, you're looking for the real one. You know, you're looking almost to, to kind of have that nice connection, that nice relationship, right? Because you're, you're ready for it, right? Yeah, so it's all know, about, like, the, yeah, this other lady who I see within the two years, she's not ready to be with you now. Because yeah. she's clearing some stuff right now. Like, I feel she's going through a divorce and clearing some stuff. There's children. And I'm seeing out in a farm, out in the countryside for some reason. She very well could live. But in the meantime, okay, we got to stay with the moment and the now. Within the next six months, even four months, you very well could meet somebody else. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, so, so hang in there. Be positive. Yeah, I will. I will for sure. Yes. You know, like, 
like the intimacy in a relationship is yeah. it means more it means more than the sex you know yeah. like the sex oh, yeah the sex is a bonus but i mean you yeah know, all right yeah and now we've got a caller waiting things are great thank you cam yeah thank, thank you so much for calling cam and hang in there because your energy is at the right and and it's all about the soul sex with the soul okay so your heart and mind is balanced so you'll be fine and that's what you'll attract Right. But Thank we have another much, caller right now. We don't mean to brush you off. Sorry about that. You can always book an appointment to see us at any time, too. So keep that in mind. So our next caller right. is Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Hello. <laughs> How are you tonight? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, you have a question for us, Maureen? Well, um, my uh, much-beloved golden retriever passed away. Uh, it'll be coming up uh, a year, November 25th. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, is he still with me? He's always with you. Any, any, will he perhaps introduce another dog to me? or? Yes. I'm, I'm, me? Yeah, I'm actually feeling that, it, and I mean, with, with you having your retriever, it's almost like that he, the other dog that you're going to have, it, this little dog puppy is not born yet, he's with your retriever, okay? So it, it, it's like your retriever is going to send this dog to you, mm -hmm. right? So it's like if we kind of go out looking and looking and looking again, we're not going to find that right dog. But I'm just feeling that this dog is just, it's, it's just going to come to you. And you're, you're instantly going to know it. And it, it's a type of dog that you, you would not normally think that you would have. Mm -hmm. And I see the retriever smiling. I see a ball in his mouth. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it's like he keeps nudging you with, with the ball. Yes. His tail is wagging, right, like yeah. McTavish is doing kind of right now. But he's got the ball, and he loves to play ball, and he, he gets very excited. And um, I feel that he's laying by a door of some sort. Mm -hmm. It's like he was he's guarding the door and watching. Yeah, I know exactly where he'd be laying too. Yeah, and he's with you. He's he's very much with you all the time. And if you ask him to um, you know, come to you more in a dream, he will. But you're gonna mm -hmm. feel him around you. You're you're you very well mm -hmm. could wake up one morning and kind of feel that somebody is with you, your presence. Oh good. So when do you see this? This puppy? other little dog, I'm seeing it coming short you know, it's funny, I'm hearing Christmas. That's just next month, mind you. Okay, <laughs> but I mean the puppy could be born next month, but I'm feeling Christmas. It's wow. it's interesting because they keep. I'm, yeah, because yeah. I I've been unsure about getting another one. Yeah, yeah, but you got to do it at the right time. The, the dog is going right. to pull out to you, right? But the mm -hmm. the energy and the spirit is with the the retriever right now, so it's interesting. Mm -hmm. He could be watching over the little puppy right now, you know, mm -hmm. guarding the little puppy for you. And when the time is right. Absolutely. Puppy will come into your life. Yeah, Poppy will definitely come into your life. And we want to thank you for, for calling us, Maureen. We've actually, you know, run short to the end of the show right now. And okay. as everybody, you can see, this is my big baby, McTavish. <laughs> you know, he's a big boy. And we want to thank our, our guest again, um, Trish Sweet with Sweet Babies Pet Care. Thank you so much. And um, thanks again, Kim and my big boy, McTavish, for being on the show. And we want to say goodbye. I'm Kate Hutchinson, and I'm at the Ernest B. Manning Awards Gala for 2013, the awards that celebrate Canadian innovation from the past year. In the next half hour, we'll have interviews and highlights from the big event. Let's get to the podium and hear from our first award winners. Well, let's begin with our two Manning Innovation Award winners. The first Manning Innovation Award, and $10,000, goes to Dan Eisenhart and Hamid Abdullahi.